Okay, so now if we see a particular record of our sales order table, then what we will find is that there are few more status. One is your overall status and other is the life cycle status. Now, if we need to have an extra condition, for example, in here, if we add an extra condition that the overall status should be paid and we have a life cycle status and it should be new or maybe some other value. So let's see what other possible value in the life cycle status. So if we come here and um, see that what are the probable value for life cycle status, then we have new, in progress, closed and cancel. So let's try to first verify if we have any records within those status. So if we test that, then what will be the result? So what I have done in my CDS view is we have added a life cycle status here and um, what I'm going to do is just filter the CDS view with a where clause of a life cycle status as n new and a overall status as a n. So the n is in overall status means paid. So which we can also verify again here. If we go back then um, in the overall status if we say n then we can get the value of 40 cent. N is new here in the overall status and P is paid. So let's go and basically make it P. Okay, let's save it and execute it. So let's see if we have any record. We don't have any data here where the lifecycle status is N new and the overall status is paid. Let's see if C is the status of life cycle which is complete then do we have the data and um, yes we do have data there's only 51 records so let's change the business requirement or add this business requirement that if we have the life cycle status as complete c and the overall status as paid so what are the changes to be done so in the previous use case when we try to implement this filter then in my DCL, I already have the authorization field which controls the overall status as paid. Now, if I want to have a further lifecycle status and here instead of new, let me make it complete, which is C, if lifecycle status C. So this two condition, the condition one is status as paid and this second condition, these two conditions should be met. So how to proceed with that? So the steps are going to be same. We will be creating or finding a new authorization field for our lifecycle status, add it to the role, and then we are going to change our DCL in the step five where we created the DCL previously and add an AND condition with the new check of the lifecycle. Now let's go ahead and perform those activity in our system. So here I will be removing altogether this save and activate it so here there is no filter condition in the cds itself it was just to test if we do have some data in the system with those scenarios so we should be or we should not be proceeding with those use case okay so let's quickly first we need to go into sc11 and um, we will be then going into our sc20 to create the field for the life cycle authorization field. So here we'll be going into SU20 and um, let's create a new authorization field. We'll say Z, life cycle status, sales order. And uh, let's add sales order before life cycle as per our previous naming convention. And here the table is SN wd underscore so and let's find what is the data element for life cycle status here so if we go then this is the data field or data element and let's copy that so the steps are same to the previous steps and we'll just save it as a local object and we have to add it in here in our sublime which says zso ls as 
new authorization field okay so that is done now let's go into class authorization class either we can create a new authorization class or we can add it into the existing authorization class now i will always suggest to create a new authorization class to keep this separate the life cycle status and overall status because it can happen that you might need the overall status again at later point of time so i will just create a new authorization object so i can use the same authorization class but i will be creating a new authorization object here now the main reason is uh, that i will be able to use this again differently or it can happen that you might have or someone might have used this authorization object in a role and you don't want to really change those so let's create a new authorization not class but authorization object and new authorization object and here i will be making it z s o l s o b just the naming convention life cycle of the status okay let's go for the activity field and uh, the second thing which we will require is our new authorization field which we created okay so this is sales order life cycle status the short description has come okay we can restrict this activity field let's save it as a local object now i can restrict this activity to be only permitted as visible and uh, which is display visible is display so let's save it and save it here again and uh, everything is done so we have this new authorization object 